Now, on today's show, we'll be talking about why content is king, along with a whole host of other things, what you should be doing in your business to make it grow, to make it more successful. My guest on today's show is Jim McLaughlin, Managing Director of Axial Limited. But I think that probably the key issue is that, that the world has changed and it continues to change. So, so lots of the tools that we used to use for marketing are either no longer valid or they're no longer enough. At one time, it was sufficient for us to say, we've got a great product, we've got a great solution, we've got a great system, um, and it can do great things for you. But because there is so much information available on the internet, on our own company websites, um, and crucially um, on sites where people can review the products and the services that, they, that they've bought. Because there's so much information there, people are actually bombarded. A, they've got ease of access to information, and B, they're bombarded with information from lots and lots of different sources. So people are, re are less willing to listen to me when I want to tell them how great the services are that Axial offers. They're much more likely to listen to one of their peers or to a trusted advisor. What do they want to see from me? What do they want to see from, from my customer? They want to see information that's going to be of, of help to them, that's going to be of use to them, that isn't going, to try and, isn't going to try and drive them in the first instance to buy the product or the service that I'm selling, but will give them an idea of why, why should they be interested in this type of product or service? What are the media that you'll use to get that information out there? And that could be, depending on the business you're in, it could be television advertising, it could be newspaper and magazine advertising, it could be trade press advertising, but all of those areas of advertising are becoming less and less important as part of the overall mix because of the changes that the internet brings. So the, the key issue always comes back to how well do I understand my target audience? Um, because if I understand my target audience, I'll, I'll start to have a good idea of the kind of forums that they're that they're likely to use. So now what we do is we'll take that specification and we'll give it to one of our researchers and our researcher will create a much more targeted list from the web and they'll use a number of different sources but the key source that they'll use is LinkedIn. The key issue always is now if you want to engage someone in a dialogue, you have to give them a reason to believe that they'll derive value from that dialogue. And that brings us back again to the content is king and, and creating the kind of content that, that the people that you want to speak to will view as valuable and will view as worthwhile reading. For our customers, the most important uh, social media channels are absolutely LinkedIn, um, and probably, probably increasingly YouTube. There absolutely can be very much more to a CRM system than doing a mail shot. So CRM systems, and, and the name says it all, it's the customer relationship management. How do I manage that relationship in the most effective way possible? And, and one, of the key, one of the key things that a CRM system enables co uh, companies to do is to follow the whole journey from the first contact with a potential customer right through to that, that contact becoming a customer or deciding not to become a customer. Hi, I'm Jim McLaughlin from Axial. We're a business development company. What we've spoken today about today um, is really around uh, the importance of getting the right information to the right people. That's why content is king. It's increasingly important to be able to create content that will give people a reason to believe that they'll get value from the contact that you make with them and from the dialogue that you want to engage them in. If they don't see that there's going to be value, they're not likely to want to engage in that dialogue. Because content is really important, it's also important that you have subject matter experts within your organisation so that they can continue the good work that you've done with the content that you've, that you've created and continue to build on your image as a trusted partner and a provider of valuable information. 
If you've got a CRM system, um, the, important th the most important thing about making a CRM system work for you is to make sure that you have the right processes in place and the right incentives for people within your organisation to use that CRM system properly and penalties for people that don't because if you don't have the right information in your CRM system, you can't get the right results from it. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, Honesty always pays in every business relationship. Don't oversell uh, your, your product, your service or yourself. Be absolutely honest about what it is you, that you can deliver and then make sure that you can deliver that and perhaps a little bit more. That's the way to build trust.